Fran gonna get there. He's gonna turn to the ball, takes it back around with him. Fran makes the hit on on a P Peke. Now it's gonna be taken by nearside next shot attempt right there from Sapo coming back. Peroto jumps on that loose ball, and here we go on a breakaway run back down the other direction. Peroto knows how to make a horse run, and look at this horse go. He is cooking, gone on the breakaway. What an approach shot from Sapo, or excuse me, from uh, Peroto. Cambiasso, he's in the red zone. Peroto, one more, should do it. Peroto, whoa, Kehuga door. This could be a long day at the office for Tonkawa if they can't get something together here pretty quickly. Yeah, about a 280 yard run, end to end. Peroto, Cambiasso, that was just a perfect approach shot going towards goal, and he was on a rocket ship here, Fran. No chance to catch up, and a really good start to this game here for Scone. Up three goals, with just over a minute left here in Chucker number one. Okay. Adolfo brings the ball into play. They've got Lucas waiting for Adolfo. Adolfo's going to go ahead and bang this. Look at the English he puts on this ball. That might be a goal by itself. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. What a goal, Adolfo. Showing why he is still the best player on the planet right here with this incredible penalty number five. Wow. The English. Couple of taps and he lets it go on goal. What a shot right there. Getting Scone into double digits and Adolfo Cambiasso. What a way to end the chucker. Oh. Up six goals now going into the final two frames. Uphill battle coming here for Tonkwa. That was magical to watch right there. All right, that'll end the fourth chucker of play. We'll be back for the final 15 minutes of regulation right here in the finals of the 2021 edition of the Gold Cup only on Global Polo TV. Adolfo, he's like a master chess player. And then to be able to hit those kind of shots and just make it look so simple, like anybody could do it, that's what makes him so much fun. One of the reasons what makes him so much fun to watch. But he gone, he's gone from being, just like Memo said during that draw party, from being one of the best individual players of all time to now being one of the best generals. Look at this shot. Oh, no way. Peroto. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was just nasty right there. Well done. Peroto, Cambiasso, making his father proud right here. And just shoving it down Tonkawa's throat. Yeah, I wonder where he learned to do that, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff here from the young Cambiasso this time, Peroto. Just a perfect next shot goal. And Scone really having a good fifth chucker here, Toby. Starting yeah. to run away with this one a little bit. All right, look at this. Two against four on the throw-in. Open back shot from Elizalde. Look at Sapo, 17 seconds. Like I said, they won't quit. They're going to get one more point on the board. That's what I'm talking about right here. This is the kind of finish I like to see. Sapo Cassette bangs it on through, gets his team to double digits, and that just goes to show you right there. They are a true polo team. Both teams, fantastic play today. They can ride off the field with their heads held high, knowing they left it all out here on the field. Yeah, what a fantastic game. Congratulations to David Paradise and Scone Polo Team getting to the finals of the CV Whitney, now winning the Gold Cup here and... Looking dangerous going into the U.S. Open, the third leg of our gauntlet of polo as well. Great stuff here, Toby. Looking forward to tomorrow's action as well. That's right. We got that doubleheader, 10 a.m. and then coming back at 3 o'clock, we're going to see Aspen versus Aspen Duda versus Cessna. 